For mobile testing, our customers can leverage the DAS scanning of WebInspect either through emulated scanning or natively, or they can use FOD for more comprehensive testing. We offer static assessments by uploading the binaries where we can have results in minutes, or we can do a more comprehensive pen test of the entire ecosystem. This would include the static assessment of the back end, a full dynamic assessment, as well as manual pen testing of both the application and the back end web service to get a holistic view of the entire mobile ecosystem. Testing the client side security of an application, we think DAS is the most comprehensive solution. Here I've got WebInspect, and I'm going to show some of those features we use to validate the client side security. First, we'll take a look at our hacker level insights. This is a feature we released in 2021. It can show us all of the, the libraries that were pulled down from the server, um, things like various JavaScript frameworks and what version was pulled down as well. So here we can see Bootstrap, jQuery 3.5.1 and understand what actually came down, not what was expected to come down. Next, we'll take a look at how do we look at things like single page applications. Here to the left, we have our site tree. This is great for viewing sort of the physical structure of how files and folders are set up on a server. When we're dealing with a single page app, quite often there's only a limited number of these pages and folders, and most of the interactions are at the DOM level. For that, we have our spa coverage page. This is based off of our UI crawl, which is a feature we have several patents around. This is doing a lightweight static analysis of all the JavaScript um, and the DOM that has come down and being rendered in the browser. We detect all of the different functions, all the elements within the DOM that can be interacted with. And then we systematically go through those and interact with them to see what creates a DOM change, what creates an interesting modification um, to the DOM, potentially Ajax calls, or something interesting from a security perspective. We can then run additional um, analysis against those and find um, both additional coverage, meaning attack surface or unique vulnerabilities, things like DOM-based cross-site scripting, which is very difficult to detect in other ways. And what we're seeing here is both the display name, what you might see in the browser as it was rendered, but also what we use to interact with that. In addition, on the SaaS side, we have additional um, support from some frameworks, including updated support for React and Angular, and then we've added support for React Native, Vue, and Handlebars and Mustache.